What's going on guys? This is Empty Box. And this is iRacing Sprint Cars from Iowa Speedway. Where today we got a 50 lap race starting in 12th position. And we're going to be hanging on for dear life because that's pretty much what you do when you drive the sprint <laughs> car here in iRacing because this thing is terrifying. I haven't driven this car for a while but it's still good to get back into this car because it is so terrifying and the pipe car is in. extremely difficult. First couple laps are absolutely green, green, brutal. Green. The tires are cold. The car is very sketchy. Inside. So honestly, I'd be Stay happy high. with just surviving. On the low side. Stay high. Clear inside. Inside. Clear inside. Car outside. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. And yes, this thing does do nearly 170 miles an hour down the straightaway. I always get this question whenever I upload a sprint car race. Yes, these things are real. Yes, they do exist. Yes, they go insanely fast because yes, they have the power to weight ratio of a Formula One car. <laughs> Just so much fun to race here. A little too sideways. Like him a little bit ironic. Just gotta be careful not to slide too much. Really haven't driven this car much since. They got the new tire model several seasons ago now. It really just kind of ruined the car for me. It ended up driving like a freaking truck. But I have to say, now it's kind of back to where it was. And in some ways better, some ways, some ways worse. Car outside. Clear outside. But really, I would like to race this car a little bit more this season again. just such a unique thing. It's so different. It's so challenging. And hopefully I think you guys out there can appreciate it. I know oval racing isn't everybody's deal, but hey, we try and mix it up. There's not many places where you can get a spec racer Ford race and the sprint car race in the same week here on YouTube. So let's be real. I spoil you guys. And holy crap, that's Vinny up there. I know he started back where I was, but... Vinny, like, races the sprint cars, like, all the time. He's like a freaking sprint car god here in iRacing. I feel like I'm actually kind of, like, staying with him almost. Makes me feel really good, actually. Now, he could just be waltzing around doing absolutely nothing, driving, you know, 80%, but still, makes me feel good. Just demands concentration, lots of inputs. Jiggle on the wheel. Lots of correction. Outside. Clear. I'm feeling good with this car right now. Judged it a little bit there. Outside. Stay low. There's a car on the high side. Clear. The yellow flag is out. Line yes, up. perfectly Four timed, five. and I get to keep the spot. Catch the blind car. Get to keep the spot. 
Because if you've seen some of my other sprint car races that I've uploaded, every now and then, it seems like in this car in particular, I just have this bad habit of passing people just as the yellow comes out and getting screwed over. So that's that. I'd imagine nobody's going to make a pit stop. I don't really think you would in this car, seeing how when you put new tires on it, it really goes quite slowly. Or at least for me, but uh, let's just go ahead and cruise around here. Pit Road is now open. See what's happening. We are going to stay out and on to the green flag. Alrighty, and we're getting ready to go back to green flag racing. Single file Get restarts. Ready. Going green. This is the norm here in this series. So let's take it nice and easy. Michael, I can't pass your the light. Car is in. Not that easy. Green flag, green flag. You're in fifth. Well, at least we've kept it out of the wall so far. Didn't get past. I'd call that a success. Man, oh man, is this car hooked up. Just kind of just go ahead and take a moment here and give a shout out to PJ Sturgios for the work he does with the setups for the sprint cars. Posting those in the forums. Did just a couple of tweaks to this car, but to his setup that he posted, nothing major, just a couple of tire pressure adjustments. I have to say, this thing's on rails. This thing's just... This is awesome. Hello, sprint car. It's good to be together, together again. Yeah. <laughs> like it actually feels like it has slicks, and it's running on tarmac. Oh! Inside. Clear. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Well, that's one way to go around the outside. You're in fourth position. Best sprint car driving you've ever seen on this this channel here. I'm not even joking. Of course, I'm tempting fate by th saying things like that, but either way, it's true. Just need to not get cocky. What got us up into this position? This car even demands so much attention, though. You can see my inputs there on the right side of your screen above the relative timing display. You can see how many small little movements are being made. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Halfway, <laughs> some lap traffic. Line up single file. Pit road is closed. Our second yellow flag of the race. Pass the pace car. Catch the 14 car. Which will give us a good chance to go ahead and bunch back up. 
catch the blonde cop. I'm not really sure what to expect in terms of tire wear. When I last really seriously drove this car is on the old tire model, which handled tire wear, in my opinion, much better than the new tire model uh, ever has, where previously your tire wear would actually matter. You could actually burn off the right rear tire fairly significantly, you know, even if you did have a couple of caution flags, whereas I'm not sure if that's going to be the case with the uh, new tire model here. So I'm learning, as are you guys. Anyways, onto the green flag. Well, we'll see if we make a pit stop. Then we'll go to the green flag. But I don't think we are. Pit road is now open. Yep, onto the green flag. Alrighty, we're getting ready to go back to green flag racing. So we got about 18 laps Get to go. Get ready, going green. So hopefully we'll get a bit of a better restart here. I did notice that the two cars in front of me were catching up the leader, so... The pace car is in! Who knows how that's going to play out. Green flag, green flag! Leader definitely got a really good jump there. Just overdrove turn one there. Man, when you get a corner right in this car, woo, feels so good. Overzealous. Last laps are going to be really exciting. I guarantee you that. Come on, baby. Come on. place right in front of us and get this Let the leader start battling it out We're in good position we can do this much better drive off come on baby Stay low, there's a car on the high side. Keep low. Keep low. Come on, baby. Here we go, we're through. 
So I hit the hit the apron. My goodness. The heart rate. The heart rate is rapidly increasing. Clear inside. Inside. Stay high. Clear. Third, five to go, six to go, however many to go. You've got five left to go. Giving it all I got. Fourth place is still right there. Fifth place is coming up. So a little bit of traffic. Oh man, this, this is intense. It's just so easy to make a mistake. at least hold on to third. One more left to go. Yes! I will take that. <laughs> We'll take that. I'm pretty sure that is my best finish in the sprint cars. That just that was a rush. These things. Oh, that's good racing, but thank you for checking up that one. These things. <laughs> just get the blood flowing. You have to pay attention. You have to concentrate. You have to work the wheel. Just so much fun when you race them, and it's a good group of guys. You know, I say this every single time I race the sprint cars. Tuesdays, Thursdays. Uh, 8 o'clock central time is when this race went live uh, on Tuesday. It, it's the consistent time slot if you're interested in racing these cars. There's setups in the form, so go ahead and give it a go because it's challenging, it's difficult, you're going to need to take a lot of time to learn the car, believe me. But oh man, is it a rush to wheel one of these things around a track like this. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I right, bye. Cut a power around you, but the lap power was there. I was.